Hey guys, welcome back to my new video series. It's called DIY Flip It. Um, I'm very excited for this new series and hopefully you guys will stay tuned and today we're gonna do the first one on a chair that I bought a couple months ago I don't know if you guys remember that video I bought this chair at a flea market and thought this would be a great opportunity to do that as my first DIY flip for this month I would like to get these series started either every week or every month depending on how it goes with this first one so enough with that and let's get started with this new series and remember this chair that I got like I said a couple months ago I found it it was from a lady that had a um, restaurant where she kept a lot of vintage items so I got started right away with this DIY um, right here I am sanding it down as much as I could So after sanding down the chair, uh, the original idea I had was to use this um, color, like a finish, wood finish on it and leave it all a natural wood color, but it wasn't, it wasn't giving it the look I wanted to, even though I sanded a couple times. It wasn't giving the look I really wanted for this chair. I wanted to leave it a natural wood color, but there was already a lot of damage to it since it wasn't really taken care of. So I just decided to get a color and paint over it. And yeah, that's what I decided to do for this chair. So yeah, we left the chair drying and we decided to stop by Joanna's. I heard from a family member that there was going to be a sale for the store because they were moving to another location. So it was a great opportunity and a great timing to take a look at fabric. And they usually have really good choices here. So I decided to stop on by. I had an idea of what I wanted, but you know, you always get distracted with a lot of pretty things, a lot of different things and uh, fabric ideas. So yeah, I guess we'll see what we find. So I was just looking around to see which one really caught my eye. I kind of had a color and a style that I wanted to go for, but I wasn't really finding it in this first aisle, so I kept looking around. I had an idea in my head of what style, um, but then I came across some other ones that I wasn't really um, looking to get which was okay but then I came across this one and I really liked the color and the pattern to it and then shortly after I found this one and then this one so I had three of them So I had three fabrics already to choose from, and can you guys guess which one I went with? Can you guys guess? So I ended up taking, dun dun dun, I ended up taking this one right here. I really like the style and the pattern. It's really simple and clean. I like it, um, I like the feel of it. So right here, I'm already um, checking how much I'm gonna cut for the seat itself and the padding so right here I'm cutting it off already I measured how much it would be off on the chair um, I also took off the uh, faux leather it had it was like a faux brown leather I took it off it took a while I had a lot of uh, staples and I really didn't get to that point to record that because it took too much of um, the time Right here, I cut it, I cut off the fabric. I already had measured it. You can't really see the lines, but I was cutting it off 
to get to this point right here, I was stapling all around. It was a little hard to staple at some stages, but got it done. We got it done. We got it done a little late, but I was really happy how it was turning out. And this is the finish seat right here. It turns out really nice. And this is the before. It was a little old looking, a little rusty. And this is the after. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I really like it. It looks a little darker than it is in person. It's a little lighter maybe inside. I tried it inside to see how it looked. It looked a little lighter. But it really looks nice. I like it. I'm excited to do the desk that I want to put this chair with. And hopefully you guys liked it as well. Let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see in my next video or any future videos. Let me know in the comments below. So yeah, this is the finished product. I really hope you guys liked it. And don't forget to comment, like, share. And I hope you guys like this new series, DIY it. Um, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! Dear younger me, where do I start? If I could tell you everything that I have learned. So Describe. You could be one step ahead. Of all the painful memories still running through my head. Mm -mm -mm. The Corby. Dear younger man.